What are you doing? Shh. Shouldn't you? Shh. Okay. Ah, Adam, I was just about to write you a message. Do you have a second? I need to talk to you. No, no time at all. That's what I wanted to write to you. It's insane here. I don't think I'll make it home tonight. Don't be mad, okay? I really hoped we'd see each other today. Everything okay with you? No. Can we meet up somewhere? Wait. Why don't we meet tomorrow at Liquid Sky? You know, the art exhibition in the Lantern Quarter? Lund's opening up a new room. I'm sure they'll let us in. Sounds good. See you tomorrow. Perfect. See you later. Love you. Hug John for me, etc., etc. What was that? I broke a glass. It happens. No, it doesn't. It shouldn't. It can't. Broken glass is good luck. Everything okay, Sally? Something is not right with me. Don't worry. Just print out a new glass. I repaired your spinet. I tuned it and I replaced the broken strings. Did someone tell you to do that? No, sir. I apologize. So you're just doing things now? Since when is your kind just doing things? I assume you want me to stop. Keep going. Hi, Steve. And? How was it in Doomsday? Did you clear up your expiration? More or less. What about that man in my apartment? Did you make progress with a database? Okay, Richard. Listen to me. I, I don't know if it'll help you now, but I put his movement profile into MoveScan. Who is it? I don't know. Yet for some reason, this database is coming up with more than one match. I thought movement profiles were unique, like fingerprints. Well, if you ask me, this whole move scan stuff doesn't work. Can we meet up? I know you have a lot on your plate, but I have to know if you found anything out about the man Tracy was with. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm at the office. Help our authorities fight illness and disease. Help our authorities fight crime more effectively. 
Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. And then the sky takes no I have to talk to you, Steve. Do you? Yes. I... I think I have some real problems. Actually, buddy, I knew that already. Hey, Richard. Can't stay away, huh? Hey, Richard. Listen to me. I want to talk to you. Okay. Not here, though. Come with me. Sure. Is this about Jennifer? If you know already, why didn't you come to me? Okay, wait. I'm the bad guy here? You snap at my wife, blame her and accuse her with crazy conspiracy theories? She is the one with the crazy theories. Of course. It's always the others. She accused me of having an affair. And what am I supposed to say? Thanks for your support, Jenny. Please say hi to Steve. Didn't you see the tape? Tracy left me! I don't care about all that. Whatever happened to you, it's no excuse for attacking your friends. You don't have that many. Now, if you keep going on like this, you'll have even fewer. Steve, I'm sorry, okay? Don't tell me. Tell Jenny. What about the research? Will you still help me? Steve, please. You have no idea what I... Yeah, j just cut it out. You had an accident, yes, I get it. But you also had a life before your damned accident. You should try to get it back in order. That's exactly what I'm trying. Listen, I will help you, but I'm doing it for your family, for Tracy and the kid, okay? Okay. Good. Come with me. Come on, let's find your family. Okay, Steve. Are these the move scan results? You know we can both go to jail for this, right? Let's start with the best matches. 84.3. Philip Osang. Yilmaz. One. 99.6. Jack Oster. 82%. 99.7. Curtis. Peter. Best match so far. There. That's a hit. Stanley White. Does he have a profile? Yep. With cloud contact and everything. He's from here, see? Berlin. Okay. He, he looks different to the man in the video. Yeah. Strange. I'll still call him, though. Something else, Steve. Do you have any material regarding Kurt's labs in the archives? Oh, don't tell me you're starting with that, too. I just want to check something. Sure. That's what Walter said. All that stuff is with him. Has been for ages. I see. I had no idea what he... Uh, what he's been doing since he... went solo. I wonder why that was. I should talk to him again.
mass destruction. This is a clear escalation of tension between East and West. Hey, Walter. May I... May I interrupt you for a second? No. Hi, Richard. What are you doing now? Researching. Uh -huh. What about? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Try me. Come on, Richard, stop it. We haven't worked together in an age. Do you know the last time you were in this office? It's been a while, I know. Four years. That long already? <laughs> You know, at some point, I just couldn't muster the courage to walk in here. I thought you were angry at me. You did? Yes. Because... Because I left you hanging. Oh, stop talking crap, Richard. Frank put me out the pasture, and you... You had more important things to do. That's not true, and you know it. Whatever. But why are you here? Small talk? If you like. How's Tracy? Uh, what's the kid up to? How's your career? Walter, please. What? Are we doing small talk or not? Tracy and James have disappeared. I'm looking for them. Hmm. I thought so. What do you mean, you thought so? <laughs> Forget it. You know I'm a bit mad. Everybody does. I need your help, Walter. <laughs> Go ask Frank. He'll help you, I'm sure. He fired me. Really? Well, Richard, that's how it is. Everybody's time comes. Walter, listen. You've done research on Kurt's labs in the past, haven't you? <laughs> I have. Do you still have the files? Oh, you're too late. There are things in motion that can't be stopped any- I don't get it. What, what thing? <sighs> you know, Richard, I've been doing a lot of thinking these past years. I used to think life was about finding the truth or getting justice or whatever. It's not? No, it's about life. Life and living. You just gotta be on the correct side. Uh-huh. And what is the correct side? We're all mortal. Sooner or later, we all die. And then what? Okay, and? Well, there are always two sides to every story, here and beyond. Life and death. One and zero. A binary system, you understand? <laughs> Actually, not at all. <laughs> you will. You're just taking your first steps. Frank's right. You're actually insane. When you look into the mirror, Richard, what do you see? What do you think you see yourself? No. What you see is matter. Nothing more. It's not you. It's completely replaceable. These files. Can you even make sense of that mess? They're not important anymore. Okay. But what is all this? It just doesn't look... healthy. Anatomical studies, neural networks, chemical formulas, architectural models. What the hell is going on, Walter? Are you writing some crazy diary or what? Maybe. But why? What's the meaning of it? I told you, it's not important anymore. You can have it. The whole thing. I don't need it anymore. Well, then... You gotta get out more, Walter. Interact with some people. Well, you could be right. And you know what? I will get out of here. Very soon, in fact. That's good. Very good. Do you still have that house by the lake? I'd like to come visit you someday. The house? Yeah, but, uh... I don't need it anymore. Why not? 
And where are you going? You, you're not planning anything stupid, Walter. Don't worry about me. Walter, about Tracy and James. I'm worried. Really worried. They'll be fine. They'll take care of themselves. And you will too. Listen, it's my family we're talking about. Oh, why? You didn't seem to care about them before. Family, friends. I mean, you never had any time for anybody. Look, I'm sure Tracy knows what she's doing. How can you say such a thing? I understand that you're disappointed, but you're portraying me as some sort of monster. I'm coming back tomorrow, okay? Sure. Of course. No, really. I'm coming. The formation of drones shortly after takeoff. The plane crashed and caught fire. So, what's Walter up to? Still hates me. And what else is new? Drone gate, Steve. It's all about drone gate because I won that stupid award. He's got to get out of that stupid hole there. I don't get why Frank isn't doing something about it. Like I was twiddling my thumbs. I was the one getting the whole thing off the ground. Richard, not everything's always about you. Yeah, well, he hates me. So, did you call this Stanley guy? Not yet. Hello? Hi, are you Stanley? My name is Richard Nolan. Nolan? From The Voice? Yep, that's me. How'd you get this number? Huh, <laughs> of course. You're a journalist. What do you want, a story? Or a nice time? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, in person. A story it is. Sure, why not? Good for business. Send me your geolocation. I'll meet you there, okay? <laughs> okay. See you then. Richard Nolan. Sir, do you have children? Help our authorities improve the lives of future generations. You have generations. a bot now, huh? What? I read your Sir, column you should for consider a change. taking the time. Lost your edge? New directives from the management. Hey, what's your problem with bots, anyway? I sell my sons for one of them base fives. Those house bots are only the beginning. Someday soon they'll develop a super AI. Not even Mars will save you then. You're a real downer. You know that. Allegedly, the bots ran into heavy resistance and needed to retreat. According to police, it is not apparent if humans or autonomous machines were responsible for the attacks. Stanley White? Yeah, how's it going? We said 10 o'clock. I was here at 10. Nature called. Uh, can you even talk then? Huh, <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. 
So, why the honor? Do you want to write a story about me? Hey, didn't you do one about drugs once? Oh, and your wife. Oh, I remember. That was a long time ago. No, I'm investigating something else. It's about movement data. You know, tracking profiles. I was looking for someone in a database, but your profile came up, and I thought it was a bit strange. So I thought maybe we should get to know each other. So, who are you looking for? Man from a video, mid 40s. He looks nothing like you. But he moves exactly like me. You got it. <laughs> maybe a fan. You know, I know a lot of people. It comes with a job. Maybe he thinks I'm his role model or something. The system doesn't mess up that easily. How do you get by, if I may ask, with dealing? I don't like that word. I sell experiences. I'm an artist. Experiences. I think I know how that ends. Hey, your wife just took the wrong thing. If she'd come to me, she never would have crashed like that. Do you have siblings? A brother, maybe? Only child. Really terrible childhood, you know? What exactly do you do, Stanley? My job is to give people a trip to another world. That's what they want. To discover something new, something beautiful. Yeah, escaping. To a dream world. Exactly what Tracy did. What you got against dreams? Can't you imagine something better than this crap here? I can. But if it's not real, then what's the point? It's nothing, just a fantasy. Oh, come on. What happens in your head is just as real as everything that happens in real life. Every time you cloud call someone, you see a telepresence. Avatars run around every chat world. Are they real? Good question. Okay, let's get back to your movement data. You know what? Maybe you didn't see a man in your video. Yeah, it could have been a telepresence. With your movement profile? Well, Valerie scanned me once for a sculpture. Yeah, maybe she sold on the data. Valerie? The artist, Valerie von Stahl. Perfections. Yeah, you must have heard of it. I was one of her models. Cool gig. So what happened? She performed a nano scan on you? Something like that. I got 50,000 credits for it and a ticket to the colony. And you want to go? To Mars? But you have your experiences, isn't that enough for you? <laughs> for now. But I mean, look around you. Nothing will come of this world, we both know that. You could try to do something about it. Oh, I will. Get on the colony ship and psh, off I go. Yeah, I gotta go. Hope I have some help. Yeah, okay. Safe travels. Enjoy reality. <laughs> In Berlin, overnight, a raid on multiple subway tunnels resulted in the destruction of numerous police bots. The police were sweeping the tunnels for criminals. Hey, Jeff. Made any progress yet? I've made it through to Adam. He's seen the data. Apparently, Tracy met with... What about Charlie? Has Adam made contact yet? Charlie? Who, your colleague? No, I, uh, we're still working on that. Work harder. We need his data. What exactly is your man doing up there? He's locating the servers of the virtual city. This VR needs to be destroyed, Richard. I understand. What is Kurtz's endgame? What does he want? Power? Control? Saving mankind? I don't care. I know Kurtz. He doesn't think small. I believe he wants to upload every single one of us. Evidently even someone like you. We have to stop him. That's all that matters. Or we'll all just be drooling meat. Our minds trapped in some digital limbo. Okay, how can you be sure this Charlie's still alive? We're receiving his signal, but the contact's been cut off. He's stranded up there. You worked for Kurtz, right? How do you know that? I'm a journalist. Something you're not telling me, Jeff? I told you already. We don't know what kind of machine it is. We also don't know where your wife is. Maybe I should just go talk to Kurtz instead. Sure. Send him a postcard. I'm not dead. I'm in Berlin. Please come and get me. Uh, okay, then. Speak soon.
Would you like me to help analyze it? I can do it alone. As you wish, sir. I just thought it might be faster. I'll do it alone! Walter was my friend. I understand, sir. Have a look at that. At what, sir? And not you. But there's nobody else here. I know, it's just something people say. You were talking with yourself. Yes, people do that. Lonely people do that. Walter is lonely, correct? What makes you think that? Because I said that he's crazy? I can tell by these records. It's like he is talking to himself. He needs a friend. He needs a doctor. What are you looking at? You seem melancholy, sir. Take care of your own stuff. A secret lab. No clue about the location. I need more of Adam's data. If you think he is crazy, then why are you studying his records? <sighs> I can't afford to ignore them. I need to check every trace for a clue. That is not logical. Walter wasn't always like this. He was a good man. One of the best. When Walter had a hunch, there was always a story. I understand. So you betrayed him, sir. Is that the correct word? What do you mean? You said he was your friend. Past tense. He was? You left him alone. He became lonely and therefore crazy. That is logical. No, it was the other way around. He got so involved in this... this... madness, and now... Now you're looking for things in there that you could use. <sighs> hey, what are you trying to say? Forgive me, sir. I didn't want to pry. I'm just trying to understand your behavior. Uh-huh. And do you understand now? Yes, sir. I do. There she is. Valerie von Stahl. Perfection. Von Stahl and Kurtz. Kurtz again. Von Stahl to be put in cryostasis December 7th. That was a month ago. Didn't I see something similar in Walter's scribbles? I need more of Adam's data.
I found your tracer thing. Okay. Where did he go? Sir? The man. The technician. City 5 services. I didn't see a technician. He must have come through here. Or... You must be confused, Mr. Newman. Yeah, you put that nicely. <laughs> well, perhaps a consequence of the accident. Mental blackouts can be a source of danger. You should visit your personal doctor. How do you know about my accident? From the bot network. All biography-relevant data is saved to the network. Biography-relevant? What exactly happens to all the data? <laughs> Nothing you need to be concerned about. We exclusively use information that helps us to help you. For example, assume you had lost a life-threatening amount of blood due to your accident. The emergency bots would have known your exact blood type and immediately called for the correct blood to be delivered. Did you know that since the introduction of the bot network, the number of life-threatening accidents has been reduced to almost zero. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm happy to be of service, sir. These technicians, what are they doing exactly? Trying to find the cause of the geohazard. I see. <sighs> Haven't... Hello, Adam. You look you stressed. Look tired. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's go. Have you seen a technician around here somewhere? No, why? Something broken? Nah, don't worry. You remember Lun. She designed the hole. Well, not alone. Yeah, and everything isn't done yet, and it's all a mess. How does this work? What do we have to do? Turn your brain off. Perfect. Just what we need. You don't really know why you're here, huh? I basically feel the same way. And that's why you do this? We have to make this city our own, do we not? Adam? Where are you? How's John? He misses his mother. Oh god, and I'm just leaving you both alone. Sunday. On Sunday, we go back to being a normal family. Have you seen Dr. Sykes again? No, not yet. You should. Yeah, I will. Today. So? What's going on? Why did you want to meet up? You were so tense before. Is everything okay? I really have no idea. Yes? Okay. What would you say if... <sighs> Don't worry. It's crazy. Is it about the accident? No. Not just. You're overwhelmed. No. 
So what is it? I sometimes... I sometimes get this feeling. I don't know how to describe it. Like deja vu? Exactly like deja vu. Just imagine someone tells you that your life, everything, is nothing more than some sort of imagination, a, a fallacy. Someone told you that? No, it's just... Who said that? Uh, nobody. It's just a hypothetical, but imagine if somebody came up to you and said just that. What would you do? What would you say? This is really eating you up, huh? I think I know that feeling. You know it? Of course. Sometimes I think I've gone mental. Or I'm dead. I mean, look at where we are, both of us, in this space, in this city. When I was a kid, my brothers locked me in a box. They wanted to know how long I would survive in there. I panicked, of course. Everything was pitch black. And I bashed the lid and I cry. And the whole time I have that feeling that something's crawling up my neck. But then there's that tiny crack of light. And when I put my hand into the light, it begins to glow as if it wasn't my hand anymore. Like a ghost head. Exactly. And I remember what I thought. If I could completely become the light, transform myself until I was nothing but light, then I would be able to get through the crack. Okay, I'll tell you what I would do, Adam. I'd sit John on my lap, and to your somebody, I'd say, if this isn't real, then to hell with everything. Reality wants to kill us all, painfully and slowly and without any point. But we have found the loophole and we escaped. Something like that is what I'd say.
Imagine a song, a song with just a few notes, restraint and stirring, looping and fluctuating, emergence of light, iridescent and changing, a heightened state, continual, lasting, peaceful. Welcome to the city of the future, your city. Look around, let yourself free. Everything is possible, nothing is out of reach. Experience the variety, the change, the magic. Be a part of it all and be yourself. Or be whoever you want and what you want. Doubt and limits are just illusions. Enjoy. Welcome. 
to the capital. Don't you have to go back to work? Mm, yeah. I should return to the dome. The governor will be waiting. Hey, I could come visit you there tomorrow. Uh, well, you would need security clearance first. Maybe after we're done with Project Independence, okay? We should do this more often. Take care, Adam. And don't forget to see Dr. Sykes. is going on here Shh. yeah yeah this is so bizarre I should send it to Richard the sooner I am done with this the better <laughs> <laughs> 